So what is the major product in this reaction? Well, let's look at our reagents. We've got sodium methoxide over here. Well, sodium is an alkali metal, so it's not going to be relevant for any of our purposes. That is merely just a bearer of a positive charge. The methoxide, on the other hand, is negatively charged and that species is relevant. When it comes to our sodium methoxide, that is base and a nucleophile at the same time. Now, looking at our starting material over here, we also see that we have a secondary position with our leaving group, which is a bromine in this case. And when it comes to a combination of a secondary leaving group and the reagent, which is a base and a nucleophile, the most likely outcome of that reaction is going to be an E2 reaction. So we're looking at the elimination reaction. Now, in the course of the E2 reaction, a base is going to come in and pull off the proton from the beta position, eliminating both hydrogen and the halide or whatever the living group might be going to go away, giving us our alkene product. Which means that the first thing that I'm going to do here, I'm going to take my starting material and find my beta positions, which is going to be a position over here and another position over there. Now, as a reminder, I want to point out that pH stands for the phenyl group, which means that the beta position to the right does not have any hydrogens. And the only hydrogen that is available to us is going to be to the left from our living group. Now, another thing to keep in mind about the E2 reactions is that the hydrogen and the living group must be antiperiplanar to each other. Or, in other words, that means that they need to be looking in the opposite directions. Which is already the case that we have here with our bromine looking at us and the hydrogen looking away from us, which means that I can take my base and have it pull off our hydrogen hydrogen, like so, which going to make a new carbon-carbon double bond between the carbons where the living group used to be and where the hydrogen used to be, giving us our final product. Easy peasy.